What's up and welcome to another episode of Yoga for Man. My goal with this series is to bring yoga, self-awareness and self-care closer towards men. But even if you don't identify as a guy, you're always welcome to join the class anyways. This is a longer class, so we have time to meditate, move, work on our flexibility, strength, mobility. And in the end, we're gonna do some breath work together. You don't need any equipment, so without further talking, come onto your mat and let's flow. So for today's class, we start at the back of our mat. Come into a comfortable seated position. I prefer the cross-legged seated position. But you can also sit on your heels or use a bolster to elevate your hips. Just make sure you are comfortable and upright. Close your eyes for a minute. Let your arms rest in your lap or on your legs. Relax your shoulders. And take a few moments to arrive on your mat. Arrive on your mat. Arrive in your body. and arrive in this very present moment. Listen to the sounds around you. Let the sounds come, but also let them go. Make them part of today's practice. Feel the floor underneath you, the contact points between your body and the ground. Feel the earth connecting to your body. Feel the clothes on your skin, the air, the temperature, the wind. Make also these sensations part of today's practice. Let them guide you in this moment to stay present. And every time your mind wanders off, come back to the feeling in your body and the feeling of your breath. Seal your lips, let the inhales and exhales get deeper and longer. And let the breath also become part of the next few minutes of this practice. Set up a breathing pattern that is comfortable for you when you relax, but also you can keep it when it's getting more challenging. Take two or three deep more breaths here. Then slowly blink open your eyes, move your body, and then we come into a tabletop position. So bring your hands underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips, spread your fingers, push away from the ground, and then join me for cat cow. So inhale, arch your back, look forward. Exhale, round your back, bring the chin to the chest. Inhale, look forward, exhale, round your back. One more. Inhale, and exhale. Come back to the middle, bring your hands one hand length to the front, 
untuck your toes and come into your first downward facing dog of today's practice. Keep your knees bent for now, but straighten your back, let your head hang heavy here, reach your hips up high. And push away from the ground and push your chest towards your thighs. Hide your heels behind the ankles. And then start to walk your dog. Bring one heel to the ground closer and then the other to warm up your body. Stay with your breath. Come back to the middle and with the next inhale, shift forward into a plank, roll forward. Keep breathing here, push away from the ground. Inhale here and exhale, shift back, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward, go slow, keep breathing here, exhale, downward facing dog. Three more times, inhale, exhale, move with awareness, shift forward, and backwards. One more time, inhale, exhale. Inhale, shift forward one last time, but this time we come into an upward facing dog. You can stay on your toes or untuck your toes. So let your Hips sink towards the floor and exhale, downward facing dog. Clean up your down dog, bring your feet mat width apart and then we reach our left hand to the right ankle for a nice twist in the spine. Look underneath your right uh, armpit. Push away with your right hand from the floor. Keep breathing. Inhale. Come back into downward facing dog. Exhale. Other side. Don't hold your breath. Keep breathing. Inhale. Back in the middle. Exhale, twist to the right. Breathe. Inhale, middle. Exhale, other side. Inhale, middle. Exhale, one last time to the right side. Inhale, down dog, exhale, to the other side. Inhale, come back to the middle. Bring your feet closer together again and clean up your downward facing dog. Let the head hang heavy. Reach up your right leg, three-legged dog. Keep breathing, keep both hips leveled, hold here, one more inhale here, exhale, bring your right, ha uh, right foot outside of the right hand for lizard lunge, definitely one of my favorite poses. 
It's a really nice hip opener and many, very, many, many uh, different variations. And it's okay if your uh, inside of the right foot lifts up. You can even open up your knee to the side a little bit. Try this maybe today. Or you bring your hand to the floor. Do whatever variation feels good for you. But stay moving. We want to open up the body, okay? And either you stay here or you bring your forearms to the floor to make this a little bit more intense. Most of us are really stiff in the hips and lower back and this is one of my favorite ways to open up these areas. <clears throat> and then lower down the left knee, lift up on the hands. Bring your left hand to the floor, reach your right hand up. Let the hift, hips shift forward and down like this, okay? Hand reaches up. Let your chest face the right side of the room. Breathe. Exhale, bring the right foot, hand outside of the right foot. Walk your foot in the middle and we come into a half split. So I have to walk a little bit forward with my right foot and then I straighten my right knee. Shift uh, backwards a little bit with the hips and let the po uh, toes point towards the sky. Pull your right hip a little bit more back. Keep your back straight and lean over your right leg. If this is not enough for you, can, you can always bring your right foot more to the front. But this is enough for me today. Maybe you can do a, half, a full split. I cannot. It's also okay. We stay here for a little bit. You can use blocks or books to help you reach the floor. And then reach your right hand up again. One nice twist. And then we bring our right hand behind our lower back and touch the left hip with the uh, back of our right hand. Really open up the shoulder, open up the chest, the spine, the right leg. And then we release. We come back into a lizard lunge. And from lizard lunge, we step forward into a low squat, yogi squat. So Come in this position, so your toes are pointing outwards, uh, your heels are pointing inwards. Keep your chest upright, I stay like this. You can also bring the hands in front of your heart. This is a little bit more intense, but to get used to this position, I like this. It's also okay if your heels are lifted off the floor can always put something underneath your heels. You can roll up your yoga mat, for example. We don't stay that long here right now, but for, for the future, you can try this. But try to stay upright, move a little bit here, and then straighten both legs, bring the toes, the feet closer together again, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway up, Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, roll up to standing. Reach both arms up. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway up. 
Exhale, bring both hands to the floor and come into a plank. Jump back or step back. Plank. Hold here. Keep your fingers active. Don't just lay on your palms or your wrists. Use your fingers as well. Push away from the ground. Stay with your breath. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower all the way down to the floor. Untuck your toes. Let the elbows touch your wrists. Uh, rib cage. Press the backside of your feet into the floor. Lift your chest up for cobra. Baby cobra. And to see if you're doing this right, lift up your hands. Keep breathing here. Don't look up. Look forward and down to keep your neck safe. But keep your core, glutes and legs engaged. Okay, of course the back muscles as well. And exhale, lower down, tuck your toes, shift back into a downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward for a vinyasa. Plank, exhale, lower down, inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. We do four more of these. Inhale, roll forward, exhale, lower down, inhale, up, exhale, down dog. Three more. Inhale. Exhale, in, out, two more, in, out, in, out. One last vinyasa, inhale, shift forward, exhale. Lower down, in, up, exhale, down. Set your knees down for a second. Come into child's pose. <coughs> Bring your knees mat width apart. Shift your hips back towards your heels. Rest your head on the floor. I keep my head, head lifted so I can talk to you. and breathe. Inhale, lift up, and then we come back into a downward facing dog. Inhale, lift up your left leg, three-legged dog on this side. Keep your hips leveled. Reach your left heel closer towards the sky. Toes are pointing towards the floor. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale one more time here. Exhale, step your left foot outside of the left hand. Lizard lunge here. Whatever variation feels right for you. If you know any variations you would like to try, I always welcome that. You can also put your knee to the floor, use blocks, do whatever you need to feel good in this pose. Try not to round your back though. Try to keep your back a little bit more straight. 
and then maybe you want also to lower down with your forearms or onto your forearms and keep moving and then lift up again lower the right knee down to the floor and then reach your left hand up towards the sky keep your hips shifting forward and down open up the right hip joint open up your spine don't just pull your left arm back really try to rotate from your spine let the chest face the left side of the room and then in extension to your upper body reach your left hand up keep the fingertips active in both hands and then lower down your left hand come into a half split so walk your left foot into the middle maybe a little bit forward and then straighten your left leg shift your hips backwards especially the left the left hip and fold forward over your left leg with the straight back toes are pointing towards the ceiling breathe here and then oh sorry and from here reach your left hand up again twist the chest to the right side of the uh, left side of the room and then maybe reach your left hand behind your lower back to the right hip open up the left shoulder your spine look up towards the ceiling keep the right hand engaged and active left knee still straight and then slowly release come back into a lizard lunge and then step forward into malasana yogi squat really important to hang out in this position from time to time I don't have that great mobility in this position to be honest but I'm working on it and I think everybody should do that since we spend so much time in chairs and I don't know cars <clears throat> and in other parts of the world people work like this cook like this eat like this relax like this and we cannot even hang out for one or two minutes in this position comfortably <laughs> so our bodies in our modern society are not used to this anymore but it's really important to be able to do this especially when you're getting older um, you need to be able to get up from the floor and unfortunately a lot of people cannot do this so when you're young do this so when you're old you're still you're able to get up from the ground and be active enough talking back to work so we straight both legs straighten both legs forward fold bring both feet closer together again inside of the feet are parallel to each other inhale lift up halfway exhale fold forward inhale bend your knees roll up to standing reach both arms up exhale 
hand in front of your heart. Inhale, reach both arms up. And exhale, we step back into a warrior two. So step your right foot back to the mat. It's right foot is parallel to the uh, short side of the mat. Left foot is parallel to the long side of the mat. And both your heels should be in one line. Front knee is bent, right knee is straight. And really open up your hips to the side. Push the left knee more to the left, more to the back. Look over your left middle finger, really pull apart your arms, your hands, arms parallel to the floor. You can check by looking back and forward, but then make your gaze go over your left middle finger again. Breathe here. Inhale, reach your left hand up. Open up your left, uh, <laughs> left rib cage. Lean back. Humble warrior. Really open up the hip, uh, the ribs, and your hip joint. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, bring your left forearm, your left elbow, to the left uh, leg. Reach your right hand over your head, extended side angle. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, humble warrior. Lean back. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. And we stay here for a moment. Look up towards the ceiling. Use your core strength to be in this position, okay? Don't rest on your leg with your arm. We are just touching slightly our elbow and our leg. And if you want more or to check if you're doing it right, you can also extend your left arm to the front. Two more breaths here. This is <laughs> also challenging for me. And inhale, warrior two. Exhale, step to the front of the mat again. Oop. Hands in front of your heart. Other side. Inhale here, exhale, step your left foot to the back of the mat, warrior two. Open up your hips. Check if your knee, uh, feet are set correctly. Heels in one line, front foot parallel to the long side of the mat. Back foot to the short side of the mat. Arms parallel to the floor. Gaze goes over your right middle finger. Fingers are active in both hands. And keep the weight distributed in the middle. Don't lean too much forward or backward. Keep your shoulders on top of your hips. Pull the shoulder blades together. Breathe here. Front knee is still bent. I'm actually a little bit high. <laughs> Need to bend more a little bit. And then inhale. Reach your right hand up and over. Really turn your right shoulder more back so you really open up this side of the body. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle on this side. Keep your front knee bent the entire time. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, humble warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. One more time. Inhale, oh, warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two, exhale, extended side angle. Keep your core active. To check if you're doing it right, lift up your right arm. Two more breaths. Look towards the ceiling, pull your belly button in, 
Turn your left shoulder back more. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, step to the front of the mat. Hands, whew, was not so great. <laughs> Hands in front of your heart. Breathe. Close your eyes for a second. Get back to your breath. Come back to the present moment. Reset your breath. Let the thoughts come and let them go as well. From here, we want to bring our legs closer together, really make the legs touch each other, toes and feet are touching each other. Bring both hands over your head and then exhale, sit down into chair pose. Hold here. Sit down even lower. Sit low. Let the heat build in your body. Fingertips in both hands are active. Core is engaged. Sit lower. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, lower the hands to the floor, jump or step back into plank. And we're gonna hold here for a moment. Clean up your plank. Keep core, glutes, fingers engaged, shoulders engaged. Keep breathing through your nose. We stay here for 10 more deep breaths. When it's getting more and more challenging, stay with your breath. Come back to the peace and quiet in your mind by connecting to the breath. Six more. Push away from the floor, core, glutes active. Four more. Two more. Inhale here and exhale lower to the floor. Extend your feet, untuck your toes. Bring your left hand to the outside of the mat. Palm is on the floor. Right hand is underneath the right shoulder. Bend your right neck, uh, knee and step your right foot over the left leg and roll over your left shoulder. Really open up. Be gentle with this one, especially if you never do this. This might be tough on your shoulders. 
It always only goes so far as your body allows. Don't force anything. Don't force your body into positions it's not ready for. So being like this is also okay, okay? Maybe you want to step up with your left foot as well and really open to the right side. Let the knees fall more to the right. Keep the palm on the floor, shoulder on the floor, and then slowly come back, be gentle and mindful and then switch sides right arm out to the side 90 degrees uh, palm facing the floor left hand underneath left shoulders and then roll over your right shoulder you can rest your head on the floor i keep my head up so the microphone quality is still okay for you. And if you want more, you can step up with your right foot as well. Let the knees fall to the left. Roll more over your right shoulder. One more breath here. And then slowly Release and find a comfortable seat at the back of your mat again. So either hero's pose, sitting on the heels or cross-legged seated position. Close your eyes for a couple more moments. Sit upright. and feel what's happening in your body. Also observe <clears throat> also observe your thoughts How are you feeling right now? It's not good. It's not bad. Try to really go into detail how you feel. This is the most important part of each yoga practice. Connecting to your true self. All the asanas, all the poses we do, just help us get to this point of meditation. Find stillness within us. You don't have to do anything right now. Stay connected to your body, to your breath. Connect to this present moment. Every time your mind is wandering off, come back with the help of your breath. Use a soft focus. Try not to force anything.
let go of the control over your breathing and just be here for a couple more moments. Enjoy the silence. And to end this class, I want to invite you to do some breath work with me. It's called Breath of Fire. So we do quick exhales through the nose, like you have like a feather on your lip and you try to <laughs> blow it away. Okay, but the inhale uh, happens automatically. So we do this together. We just go without actively inhaling. So join me if you feel comfortable with it. Go in your own pace and if you go lightheaded or dizzy, just breathe normally again. So sit upright, inhale deeply with me, fully in and fully out. Fully in and then Exhale with me. Breath of fire on three. One, two, three. Let's go. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, and fully exhale. Hold your breath on the exhale. Without any pressure, gently hold your breath. For 10 more seconds, you can do it. Relax your shoulders, relax your face muscles, your jaw. And then when you feel the urge to breathe again, just breathe. Breathe normally again. I want to invite you to meditate for a couple more minutes. Or if you want to keep doing breath work, I have videos for that on my channel as well. Check that out as always. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining another episode of Yoga for Man. And I hope to see you next time. Namaste.